a question probably no one is asking is the Saab 93 new generation a good winter car here you can see I'm out in a little bit of a snowstorm and I can say that my car is not a good winter car at the moment I feel that it looks nice in the snow though but the ABS is not working the traction control is not working and uh, the st stability control is not working which isn't ideal in conditions like this but uh, that will give you the true performance of the winter car without its uh, technical help in a way so as you can see there's a fair bit of snow here and uh, uh, we'll see if I uh, have any problems plowing through it you can see the snow is almost higher than the rims there this haven't been plowed today I believe and my winter tires they are perfect but they are uh, fairly good and should still have some life left to them but since I'm not having any traction control I'm probably wearing them down faster than I should so you saw the snow outside uh, and also keep in mind these subs are designed and was designed and manufactured by Swedes so in Trollhättan which is fairly inside the country in Sweden so they should perform nicely in the snow but also this is a General Motors platform which maybe have some downsides with it but it's a front wheel drive car without traction control from a standstill it won't go any fast and I won't hammer the throttle because that won't help at all but as you can see absolutely no problem in these kinds of snow uh, as long as I don't bog down and uh, like uh, polish the snow into thin ice it won't, won't be a problem I believe in the snow like this and you can build up some speed and then you will have no problems at all so I'm not sure if other 93 owners would agree on me on this but I feel the car is not tail happy but uh, even without stability control it's not like understeering a lot I feel it gets a lot of traction in the front and then it will actually slip in the rear Comparing it to my older generation 93, I believe that one was a lot uh, or got a lot more understeer, but that is maybe something I, uh, I just like. Uh, yeah, it's maybe just I'm thinking that and it's totally wrong, but as you can see, I get a fair bit of protection and I lose a little bit of stability in the back of the car, but it's really easy to control in. Uh, when the conditions are fairly even and you're not encountering too much ice. Oh, I don't think this parking garage has been plowed and uh, the hills are not steep but they are definitely going up and no problems, didn't even lose traction there. We can try to even go slower and see if there's any problem, maybe even stop. So I will take it into the middle here, where there is more snow, as you can see. Stopping there. Ow, it, it bogged down. So it's when you like bog down and spin the tires, it will make like the snow into ice, so I will try again here. Not a perfect. <laughs> snowmobile if you call it that so if I had studded, studded tires that would probably definitely help but it will be interesting I won't stop in the other hill because that's much more steep than that one. but if I wouldn't be able to go up there I could also just reverse and I think it would be no problem at all I don't have uh, 
traction control, not wanting to be copyrighted there, but I don't have traction control, but and uh, from my experience in winters with traction control on Volvos, it helps a little bit, but if you can't really get going without the traction control, uh, it won't really help with the traction control, it will just cut the power and then it will stop and then it will spin the tires just like but it maybe helps a little bit if you already have some speed but from a standstill in the really sleeper conditions now nah, I don't think it helps too much so this hill here have an incline uh, on about 10% or maybe 12, uh, I'm not sure, but it's really steep and I don't think you find a lot of public roads that are steeper than this here in Norway. <laughs> and uh, it have been plowed within maybe the last hour or two, so it isn't too much snow as the other parts where I was filming. But uh, my tactics will be to try to stay in the middle and use second gear all the way. And you can even see a trailer there being towed, probably crashed. Uh, staying in the middle using second gear because it's so steep. If I try to do it in third, it will bog down, and I even have, and I have to change down either way. And then I will probably maybe spin a little bit and maybe get stuck. And. Uh, if I get stuck, I have to reverse time. So maybe that's why I'm a little bit quiet now. Our pimps at 2500 around there, so I have a lot of torque, but. A lot of torque doesn't mean that I got any traction and will be able to use it. But you will be able to hear the turbo spool at, le at least. And it actually seems to be okay. And uh, I'm using studless winter tires. Maybe change into fur and even try to. speed up this hill so losing traction there but actually not a problem at all so the subs are nice cars so <laughs> I saw another car driving up a road here and uh, for some reason he turned back and I was trying to turn on the camera and the microphone so I had to stop of course and stuck I have to reverse a long way down if I can't get it going here so give it some other tries absolutely no chance I have some speed hopefully second gear maybe can pull me through this I want to stop now to show you guys just trying to get home now and also not make this video too long so here you can see the traction here and tight turn. And I'm making it, I'm making it. Building as much speed as I can. So, if you're driving a front wheel drive or a two wheel drive car, don't ever try to stop in a hill. That is not a good idea at all. So, is the Saab 93 new generation a winter car? Or suited for winter is certainly not a bad car for driving in the winter but I don't believe 
it's uh, much better than any other four wheel four forward drive vehicle or four no it's not four wheel drive but FWD at least forward wheel drive yeah you get what you get my point right but yeah I don't think it's any better when it comes to traction uh, and traction I mean like accelerating I think that is most up to what kind of tires you are using and such but when it comes to stability and such I feel the Saab is a nice car for being a forward wheel drive car so it's not understeering a lot so that is pretty nice